Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to make a synchronous HTTP call using the HTTP client API in Java and understand how to process the HTTP response. HTTP interaction with the java.net.http module includes create an instance of a HTTP client and configure as we need it. Create an instance of HTTP request and populate the information. And then pass the request to the client, form the request, and retrieve an instance of HTTP response. Then process the information contained in the HTTP response. So first I'm going to import Java IO package and then java.net. import java.io and then I'm going to import java.net and I will also need java dot time package now I will start by creating and configuring the HTTP client instance in our main function HTTP client and I will name it client and call HTTP clients HTTP clients new builder and also set connection timeout by calling connect timeout method and pass in duration of seconds seconds I will pass in 10 for 10 seconds this I need to call the build method this way we will get our HTTP client and then I will set our HTTP response variable HTTP response and the object name will be response set to null and then I will add a try catch block where inside this uh, try catch block we are going to create our uh, request uh, first I'm just going to catch the exception over here To make it simple, I'm just uh, using the exception class and then e dot print stack trace and 
Now I'm going to create and configure the HTTP request. And by default, an HTTP request uses the get method. We are going to use the endpoints of postman dash echo service. It's going to add Here we have our endpoint URL string and point this will be HTTPS and postman dash echo dot com forward slash get and our URI URI by calling URI's method create and we are going to pass in our endpoint URL and then we are going to add it to our concatenate with our request information we are sending, the parameters. And this will be foo set to bar. And foo two sent to bar two and now we are going to create a http request and i will name it request http request dot new builder and then dot uri and inside we need to pass in our uri and at the end we need to call a build function so this way we will get our request object created and after this we are going to uh, send this uh, get request and get back our response. This response is set to our client. Dot send, and we need to pass in request and http response dot body handler and this method of string so that is converted to string now we get the response back over here after sending a get request. We can print the response after our try catch block. The response object contain data like the status code, header, and the body. With so our response object, we are going to pass into System dot out dot print line, and we are going to print the status code. Status code by calling response dot status code function. And we can also print the headers. 
I will just go on and print response body. System dot out dot print line and body. response and we can call response method body and just save our code and we can check if it's work I need to include the HTTP package over here after java.net.http because we are using HTTP request response. So I need to add this one over here and save it. And I also need java.net.uri class imported import java dot net dot uri and save and there is a s missing over here at gdp response dot body handlers And after I run my program, we get the status code over here and also the body. So this way, uh, we can uh, use a Java 11 network ABI or HTTP client to keep on learning. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Asim code keeps supporting me and thank you for watching.